So let's enter it for our date. Let's select the field where we're gonna enter that. We're on the data tab and let's do data validation. And again, we can do our input message. Please enter the date and then we can put the actual date parameters that we want. So we could do month, day, year parameter. And then we'll also put like 01, 01, 2025 as the example. And I'm going to put in the slashes in there because that's how the date is going to appear. Then we're gonna select the settings button and we can choose to have it fit, but we're gonna choose the date validation criteria. We want to ignore blank and we can choose either a start date or an end date if we want. Now that's what the option set to between. We could also just put not between or we can just leave it blank. And in this example, we can put in our start date to be 01 slash 01 slash 2024. And then let's do our end date to be 0101 slash 2026. So we can't put in a date outside of that date range. Then we select OK. Let's go ahead and right click the date formula, excuse me, the date field. And let's select format cells. And this is where we're going to choose a date field specifically. And we can choose this option that has the day, month, year option or we can choose the very top one because that will update based on the user settings. Then we can select OK. And our data validation is also displaying what the user is expected to enter. 